how I came to Islam, it's uh, it's an interesting story actually. Um, I travelled to Turkey with uh, a group of my friends for you know a lads' holiday, a typical you know Western sort of lads thing to do, go overseas for a cheap holiday and you know cheap alcohol and stuff like that. But subhanAllah, when I got there, the first thing I heard was the adhan, and it really struck me, subhanAllah. And the bit of the adhan that stuck in my head was Hayya uh, al-Falah, come to success. Uh, so I asked the staff what the what this was all about. Why why is this call going five times a day? And they explained to me that it's Islam, Muslims, it's a call for prayer. They weren't exactly the best example, but alhamdulillah, when I got back to uh, Wales, I started to research about Islam, and uh, eventually, uh, after researching about the Quran and the science and the miracles, and listening mostly to Ira and their argument for the existence of a Creator, subhanAllah, it just convinced me, and uh, that's when I uh, decided to accept Islam and become Muslim, alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar You know, subhanAllah, um, before I actually took jihad and accepted Islam, I um, I was coming to the masjid during Ramadan and I was fasting and praying Tarawih and uh, just you know coming with the brothers here and spending time with them. I don't know what I don't know what it was, but it was just this feeling inside me that was just like you know telling me to come to the mosque. Subhanallah, I don't know what it was. It's, you know, guidance from Allah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, soon after I uh, accepted Islam, I actually made a move to Australia just for a change of a life lifestyle and experience. Um, I learned Quran there, alhamdulillah. I learned how to pray, how to, uh, you know, do everything there, alhamdulillah. So uh, I've just recently come back. Um, and actually, whilst I was in Australia, I was married for a short time. It didn't work out, alhamdulillah. But there's a really uh, amazing lesson I learned from the marriage and a really amazing story that I'd like to share with you, inshallah. Um, just before I was married, get going to get married, uh, something really, you know, Subhanallah, crazy happened. I uh, I lost my job. I uh, my car broke down. I lost my phone. I, just everything was going wrong. Subhanallah, and I think this was definitely a test from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Are you still gonna go ahead now and get married? So anyway, I discussed with the family and we decided that yeah, we'll still get married, inshallah. And a week after the marriage, Subhanallah, someone gave me a call. You have a job. A brother came up to me and said, here's a car, for free, subhanAllah. And another brother gave me his phone. Another brother gave me, you know, $500 just to see me through until I started my job, subhanAllah. So look at this blessing from Allah, subhanAllah. Reaction from my family when I was becoming Muslim was really funny, actually, you know. Um, uh, seeing me dressed different and you know they sort of say stuff to me like oh so you eat curry and stuff like that now and you have like a spot on your head you know there's so many stupid misconceptions about Muslims and Islam it's just ridiculous you know you can go all over the world and you'll find different cultures and ethnicities who are Muslim you know subhanAllah you go to Mexico there's villages there that are Islamic with native Mexicans you know Brazil Indonesia even Fiji you know it's not just the Middle East. I mean, Islam is really all over the world. Yes, subhanAllah, uh, there's even a mosque that was built recently in the Antarctic. So you see how uh, Islam really is, you know, everywhere, all spread all over the world now, subhanAllah. What's it like living as a Welsh Muslim, subhanAllah? Um, well, you stand out, that's for starters, especially when you're wearing a juba and you, your appearance is white, you know? because people around here, they're not used to that. They're not used to seeing white Muslims. They think it's something really strange for some reason, subhanAllah. Um, but yeah, generally, I think the Welsh people are more open-minded, alhamdulillah. When we're doing the dawah, uh, they're really you know, keen and eager and uh, you're just all around keen to listen to what you have to say, especially you know, being one of them, so to speak.
so overall, alhamdulillah, it's not too bad. Alhamdulillah, you know, I've traveled around the world, Australia, Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, Abu Dhabi, subhanAllah, I've been to a few countries, alhamdulillah, and, uh, you know, Islam really is, you know, it's not just a Middle Eastern thing, you know, only, in fact, only 10% of Arabs and Mus uh, 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 of Muslims are Arab, subhanAllah. Uh, so, uh, obviously, going around the world and meeting different people in the masjids, uh, you learn how to, you know, say how are you in many different languages. So I think I know about seven or eight different languages, subhanAllah. You've got my own, which is Sidukhde, it's Welsh. Uh, I think in Urdu is Abkeseho. Malaysian, Indonesian is uh, Apakabar. Um, I think in Kurdish is uh, Chonibashi. Uh, in Arabic it's Kaifa Hailak. Somalian is Mafia Antahai. And uh, I think I know a few more, but I, I forgot them at the moment. But yeah, subhanAllah. My advice to uh, Welsh people who are watching now, or generally, you know, British people who aren't Muslim, maybe they're atheists or Christian, um, my advice is don't believe what you see on the news. And don't believe what the Western governments are saying about Islam either. Come to the mosque, meet Muslims and speak to us, you know. Everything you're seeing on the on the news and the media, it's it's propaganda, it's fairy tales, it's fabricated information. It's not true. Come and speak to us and you'll find out for yourself, subhan. So that's my advice to uh to everyone there watching. Um you know, come and discover the truth for yourself and come and speak to us about Islam, to find out about Islam.